I want to hear more about what makes a good PM. Like, what is it that allows them to, su to succeed in their role, to continue on for years and years and years? What do you really emphasize during that management program? Well, you know, one of the, the discussions that I had with everybody that became a prospect manager, you know, on, in the area that I worked is that there's going to be a time, and I don't know how fast it's going to happen for you, where you're going to wonder whether or not you should be doing this or not. And, um, at which, which included me. And then what, what I tell them is once you realize that nothing ever goes good, you're going to be fine. I mean, if it weren't problems, you know, uh, Dudley and Havenstrite wouldn't be paying our salaries. And so once you realize that, then it's, then you learn how to, you know, manage issues. There's always going to be issues. And I always, you know, told the, the people I work for, they're typically not as bad as you think they are. So before you do anything, sit down with Russ Paul and let's, <laughs> let's figure out, you know, what our next move is on this. Yeah. Uh, Steve, what are some of the things that you really took to heart during that management program about being a PM? I think it, it guides you and teaches you the, the aspects that you really don't learn in the field. Um, and like Russell, I mean, I was supposed to be an elementary school teacher, so I, I had no clue that I was going to be in a management role whatsoever. But um, everybody's different underneath you and who works with you. So you can't go in with an all-in-one attitude. Uh, I think I did that at the beginning. Um, you have to learn to delegate and trust. It's a, it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing for some of our current managers that they struggle with. But you have to find people that, you know, you trust. Um, you have to pay them and you have to have to let some things go. Uh, other than that, really, it's it, it's all about how, how you want to build yourself. You know, there's there's some folks who can manage 150 people. There's some folks who are more comfortable with 20. It's, it's really, you know, case by case basis. But um, it's 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 a long path to get to, I think, being a very good manager. And it takes a lot of mistakes. Um, but Russell's right. You have to realize that most of those mistakes are not the end of the world and you have to find solutions and better ways forward from them instead of you know, coming down on yourself because they're, they're going to happen daily, weekly.